Hi, I'm John Lenhart. I'm Alex Kimmy. And uh, hey, I'm Jack Lukowski, and we're all seniors here at Plymouth White Marsh High School, and uh, we're working on the Microsoft Surface. To start, we're going to give a brief overview of what the Surface is. The Microsoft Surface is an interaction table that allows many users to interact with the device at the same time. Uh, it uses a camera system that tracks up to 50 points of contact, and it acts a lot like a smartphone, such as a droid or an iPhone. It allows developers like us to make very intuitive applications and forces us to think about a solution to an issue in terms of interaction and how people are going to use the Surface. Surface applications are written in XAML and C-sharp and using Visual Studio and Expression Blend. So let's take a look at an application that we finished last year. The application is called Map Matching, and it's an educational tool for children to learn geography. Much like solving a jigsaw puzzle, students match drag and drop countries onto their correct locations. One of the more useful features of the application is the ability to change the difficulty based on how advanced the student's knowledge is. There's also a timer to add a competitive element to play. The idea of the application is that students drag countries from a bank on the side of the screen, rotate them, and drop them. On easiest difficulty, the task is no more challenging than finding the correct shape for each country. As you move up in difficulty, the system takes away the country's names, and on the hardest difficulty, all that remains is the name. The system works by determining the center point of the scattered country, and simply tracks how close its center is with the correct position on the map. For easier difficulties, the system also factors in how much the piece is rotated so the country doesn't fit into the map upside down. As you progress through matching all of the countries, your progress is shown in the progress bar in the bottom right. And when you've successfully matched all the countries, you are shown a message with the time in which you've completed the task. All your options are available in the pop-out menu in the corner. And as you can see, we completed map matching for European countries. However, the concept could easily be used for other areas of the world as well. The Conference Mapping application is a program written on the surface and is meant to help parents who come into the school for teacher conferences easily find their students' classroom. Much like a GPS system in your car, the application utilizes pathfinding and a map of the school to help parents find their way. Up to four users can interact with the application at the same time. As parents select different teachers, different colored lines appear as well as a list of currently active lines on the screen. When the users touch anywhere on the surface, a scroll viewer with a list of all the teachers in the school appears where they tap. The list of teachers is populated via an external database running on a website, as well as a local database run using XAMPP on the surface. Coordinated data, room data, and data pertaining to the line drawing is all stored in that local database. The code uses MySQL in the C Sharp to interact with the databases. After the list has been generated, a user can come and tap on the button to have a line appear from the lobby to the room that they're trying to get to. After about five seconds, the scroll viewer will disappear so that they can see the line that's been drawn. Additionally, after another 30 seconds, the line will disappear so that a new user can come and use this application. With this application, we were really challenged to think seriously about the user experience. How the user interacted with the application, its visual aspects, and ease of use were all major factors that affected how we went about the development process. Because the surface is so interactive, developers like us are forced to think outside the box. In writing touch-based software, we had to make our program very intuitive to new users. Well, this has been my first year working with the surface and this team in such depth, and I've really been impressed by the quality of work that's come out of this particular project, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. So this year, unlike last year, we plan to uh, compete in a couple competitions, one being a local programming competition at a local university. Uh, also, we plan to join the Imagine Cup this year, which is going to be pretty cool competing you know, with the rest of the world in what we love to do. So it's going to be awesome. All right, so I hope you guys got a little bit more information about the types of applications we did last year and the types of applications we're producing right now. And actually, if you want to check out our other videos, you'll get a better overview of um, what we were working with last year. Um, but I think that's it. So uh, I guess we'll see you guys later. <laughs>